Hello and welcome back and we're continuing our look at mobile uh, applications for NAS and of course we're looking at Synology apps. We've looked at a few Kin apps, we've looked at a few Synologies and right now we're looking at the different apps between them. Later on we're going to compare each of the apps and which one favours which uh, different kind of genre of use. But today we're going to continue our look at music looking at the Synology music application. We want to look at DS Audio. And DS Audio, like all the applications from Synology and indeed QNAP, they're all completely free and available for iOS and Android, and some of them on Windows Mobile. <laughs> Windows Mobile. Anyway, so here's the application. Once again, very similar to that of DS File and DS Finder that we looked at before. Um, options at the bottom there for the localized settings and verifying uh, identities when you're logging in. There's app information on the bottom right. And if we go to downloaded songs on the bottom, if we've downloaded songs from DS Audio, which we haven't done, uh, that's where we'd find them by clicking there at the bottom. But let's log into the device, shall we? Um, once again, as we go into the app, it will immediately uh, bring up all the albums that we've lit put inside our music folders. And it is worth remembering that a lot of these albums will not be visible unless you let the NAS know where you keep your music. A lot of the apps on Synology, you will have to go via a desktop interface, uh, via a PC, Mac, Android system, anything with a Chrome browser, and make your way into the Synology, Synology NAS, open up their respective uh, applications in terms of music and photos and movies and stuff, and make sure you let the device know where to browse for these albums. In this case, I've let it know where uh, some of my albums are. I create a test folder and chuck some random albums inside, hence why yeah, they are really eclectic. Um, but right now, this is the interface. It will immediately open into our library. It's, again, very simple compared with the QNAP one. I'm looking forward to the comparison of these. But as you can see from here, downloaded songs goes to music we've downloaded while we've been listening to it live. And I'll show you that later on. Um, the last song we've been listening to it will always be at the bottom of the screen. And that's the general playback. So in the case of this, I was listening to uh, a song from Boardwalk Empire. So if we play that, I'll show you the interface. I might have to shout over it. First big leap that Adam gave to Eve. So if we lower the volume there, as you can see, it's highlighted the mobile device that we're using. If we pause that. Uh, we've got the album art, which you can uh, set up that the device will try to download that without you needing to get it yourself. Um, and again, Robin it won't Skies. appear unless you press play. As you can see, it disappears. Now, if we rate the song, that's useful later on for when we do searches for songs that we want or create smart albums. On the bottom, we've got the usual shuffle, back, play, forward, stop, and shuffle, uh, or replay, even. Uh, on the top right of the screen... We can do a sleeper timer, which is quite cool. And what that does is you can set it up. If you're listening to music, the app will disconnect from the music and stop playing after a given length of time. In the settings, these are all different settings with regards to the NAS, but moreover towards the individual app on your phone. So in the case of this, you can select the player, which in this case is the Nexus 5X. But if we want, we can use the app to play music on another device. I've got a Kodi box. Um, with um, uh, just on the DLNA, and this can send music via this app from the NAS directly to the Kodi without having to go through the phone. The phone just becomes a means of controlling the music. Um, you can enable headset controls via Bluetooth, and as well as control playback and all the different stuff on the NAS. See the library source we mentioned earlier, and give us the ability to kind of edit. Uh, the way this plays back our music to our tastes and needs, be they on playlist form or creating smart genre-based playlists and individual artists. I like the fact they've included transcoding. That's definitely a nice option for me. If you want the music to be transcoded to a certain format um, that is more acceptable to all devices, this will let you do it. But obviously, the bigger the file, transcoding does put a little bit of work there on the CPU. But there are lots of options there, way more options than I expected from the likes of Synology, who typically aren't that hot on giving you too many choices. Uh, if we leave the settings menu there and make our way back to the main menu here, we can go to home, which is if we've got pinned songs where we base this on, this is a good song, this is a good album. Moreover, the library, once again, it's it's you know broken down into albums, artists, composures, genre, um, genres, individual folders for the breakdown of stuff. And once again, playing a song is incredibly straightforward. We're going to go straight into some Dark Souls soundtrack music here. We're going to go for Firelink Shrine. And it will find it on the network 
and start playing our song for us. So we to get forward a bit. A bit of rating. We can come back to that later on. So there's our library once again. And again, it can be broken down however way we see. Uh, if we go to the top right, we've got further options there. You can search for songs, refresh that sort of thing. We can change the way that we see it, look at it in the album art and more. And once again, we can choose individual tracks, folders, CDs and more. Um, if we go back to that main menu, we can go to playlists where we've got playlists that can be created automatically or uploading our own manual playlists. And finally, quite an interesting little add-on here that I didn't see on the QNAP app and that's radio. The fact that you can add internet-based radio channels. Now by default, Shoutcast is always included, but you can add manual ones as you see fit. But if we go to Shoutcast Radio... Let's go for metal, shall we? Why not? Let's be a bit wild. And we'll select Metal Express Radio. And we're going to open up that radio channel now. A little bit of Audio Osborne there. Why not? Um, but yes, yeah, so that's a lovely little feature, to that radio uh, section there. Just in case, what you want is just a nice, simple radio playback. And although you can't download the songs, because let's face it, that would be dodgy as hell. It is nice to have that as an extra feature on this app. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed this. We will be looking at DS Photo, uh, you know, uh, uh, Synology Drive and Synology Moments in the upcoming days and weeks. So do check those out. And I will be comparing a number of these apps from Synology and QNAP directly against one another. Because in some cases, QNAP win. In some cases, Synology win. And I'll be honest, there is no out-and-out -out winner when it comes to these mobile apps. Because it is very much based on what you want and your own desired user interface to listen to your music, to look at your photos, and to watch your movies. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.